dirt in this tension. Does no one want to tell me? I'm coupled up with her. Does no one want to let me know? Do I have like a mark? Katie's. Yes! Bring on Hurricane Katie. Yeah. Finally, this is what I want you to see. So I'm in Madrid right now and we've got to get into everything with this episode. I feel like, you know, the tomorrow night teaser, I want to get into that because that really gagged the hell out of me. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hope you guys are doing well today. Back at again with another video. If you have not subscribed, you click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Subscribe to the channel, guys. I'm meant to be out right now in Madrid, but I'm delaying my friends because I'm trying to get these reviews out for you in a timely fashion as I always have. So I really am daily and consistent, consistent and persistent injected. So please do subscribe. I would appreciate it. So let's get into this video. Catherine and Scott. That's been broken down by everybody in the villa in the Tomorrow Night teaser where Tyreek and Scott get into some kind of conversation. Now, why is he saying this? Probably because there have been suspicions. As a viewer, I've been very suspicious of Scott. I don't know if he's playing a game. It looks a bit fake the way he jumped from Leah to Catherine. It just looked like that so much that I voiced it for quite a while. And if the islanders within the villa have these suspicions, then that definitely confirms my suspicions that he probably isn't as, you know, authentic with Catherine. And also another reason for why they're not even getting any airtime because we haven't seen much of them. And if there was anything to see with this couple, then, you know, there would be something to see. So I just feel like the island is even saying this, like Tariq. It is interesting. The other side of the coin is Tariq's, everybody wants to be messaging me. What is he saying? Um, so I just feel like the way Tariq did it, his delivery was wrong. Why are you shouting now? Why are you screaming now? And I don't like the way he's also coming for Catherine in, in, you know, inadvertently. I feel like he's trying to look after her, but there's a way of doing it. You can have the conversation one-to-one. -one. He likes to speak publicly around people, not knowing how it affects other people. Catherine had to pull him to the side to say, you've already done this to me before. I don't appreciate it. And yet he's somewhat doing it again, but also when it comes to Scott. So I wonder why he's saying this. I want to know Tariq's reason. This just can't come from nowhere. So it definitely validates my suspicions of Catherine and Scott. Um, but we'll see what happens when it comes to tomorrow. We'll break that down then. Let's get into today's episode. Mitchell and Zach obviously clash. Mitchell's playing this kind of game where he's, you know, doing these whispers. I'm not mad at it because if we deep it, Mitchell has helped make this season what it is. My guy has been single throughout the entire time in the show, yet somehow he's provided so much entertainment for us by just doing absolute nonsense. So I'm not mad at Mitchell because he always gives us something to talk about. He did exactly that when it came to this episode with Zach running around saying that, you know, telling Katie conversations are dry, doing that BN9 behavior. Zach doesn't like it pulls him, Mitchell admits it, they apologize, but it's a little narrative, a little, it's a little nugget for the producers to use in a moment if they feel like episodes can be, you know, quite dry, etc, etc. Not gonna lie to you guys, I didn't watch all of this episode. I did not watch all of this episode because, you know, this whole Ekans and Davide stuff has been a bit mad. I've been on a plane, I just got to the hotel. So I would just watch really the last half an hour, which I feel like is the most important. Whitney and Zach, I'm not buying it. I'm so sorry. I'm not buying it. But you know what I am buying? The skin child. Because are you... It's... Wow. I really have to do a video on my skincare routine, guys. Because I do have a skincare routine. I do it every single day. I don't tell anyone. Um, I'm, not even trying to, I'm not even trying to be hostage um, and, and gatekeep. But I really need to do a video. So I will definitely do it. Anyways, I'm not buying Whitney and Zach. I feel like even Katie, what she was saying reaffirms why I'm not buying Zach. Zach is one of the biggest game players in the villa. I'm not saying Whitney isn't. I'm not saying anybody else isn't. I'm not saying Scott isn't. I'm not even saying Catherine isn't. But I feel like Zach's game is so obvious to me. For the fact that he had this tension or whatever with Whitney, but didn't even tell Katie. And he's been with Katie for the last three days now. They've cuddled, they've kissed, whatever. And yet now this tension between him and Whitney comes out of nowhere is going to be, again, quite random. Why is it, Why are you suddenly now into Whitney? Because had you been into her, you would have expressed something about it while she was with Mehdi. Not 
trying to intercept Mehdi, but there would have been something going around. It just seems to me like it's out of nowhere. He did mention that he'd be into, you know, as the top three girls, but nothing was done since he entered the villa. So it just seems a little bit coincidental for me, timing for me. I think they also know in there that, you know, Whitney is favoured. It's the 10th season, guys, now. They definitely think like this. And therefore, he's now conveniently about to jump to Whitney if things don't go well with Katie. It just seems very convenient to me. He's always been able to jump from Catherine to Molly, to Molly, to Katie, to Katie, to Whitney. He's always had an option there where you can conveniently jump. Whitney, you could say, you know, is also playing a game because, you know, um, her and Mehdi, I believe she actually liked him. Mehdi was being weird about it, but it just also helped her to prolong her time in the competition. She is single. She has to find somebody. And, you know, I'm sure that she would have liked Zach throughout. I'm sure Whitney would have liked, um, um Zach would have liked Whitney as well. But I just feel like... Zach, to me, just plays... I don't feel like it's just... To me, it's a game the way he coincidentally finds somebody and leaves the other person and doesn't tell the other person that something else was going on. Molly was so confident that he'd be coming home. Or he... You know, Molly was looking forward to when he le left the villa. The next day, he was trying to kiss Katie on the terrace. That's wild to me. Were you really ever into this girl? It's just... To me, it's just wild. Katie gets hyper-emotional. She doesn't like it when somebody lies to her. She likes to keep it very honest. We saw the same behavior in season two and she's emulating the same behavior and I'm so proud. I'm not here for you to return to Love Island to do up Love Island growth. We don't want to see growth. We want to see Katie, fiery Katie, hurricane Katie, you know, tsunami Katie. That's what I want to see. And I feel like we're already getting there. She's very hyper emotional. She got, you know, started crying because she felt like, you know, um, he was crying um, because um, she started crying because he was lying. Sorry. Then Katie said, well, you know, I'm, I don't like how she's smug about it and she hasn't said anything to me about it. Oh, child, the tension between Whitney and Katie, you can smell it even from here. I feel like, you know, these two are going to have some kind of issue going on. They haven't addressed it. It's bubbling under and Katie is choosing when to do so. She's been a bombshell before. She knows how this feels like. She even said herself, no, dump me from this island. I don't want to be a second option. I'm over it. That's what she said. The gag is she has the followers. So, you know, she has the engagement as well. So, you know, does she really need Love Island? No, she doesn't at this moment. She's already been on, a, been on it. She does need it for the fact that she came back, but she's not mad at going home early or any given moment because she's already has gotten what she's needed from it. So I guess that's why she has the confidence to say, dump me from the island. But her and Whitney, they have some... I don't know what it is. Something's going on between these two. It is brewing. And I feel like Katie doesn't like the fact that Whitney is smug about it. Whitney was speaking to the group about it and the girls were there. Katie said herself that, you know, no, nobody tells me anything. And that reaffirms our perspective as viewers that Katie does not fit in with this group. Nothing goes on with her in the group. It doesn't merge well. She was best friends with Olivia on her season, and so that was easy for her. She's latching on to Jess and Leah just a little bit, but, you know, when it comes to Catherine, when it comes to Ella or Whitney, they're just not really her girls. Catherine, outside of her Love, Love Island journey, she is a very interesting character because although she's not, she's quite mellow and laid back and chilled, and this fiery side of Catherine I ain't never seen, she's very good at getting storylines moving. And if you pick up on it, you will notice that she spoke to Katie as an example about what is going on. She fed that back to Ella and Whitney. That helps to get conversations going. You want whisperers in the villa, like Mitchell, who does it, and Catherine, who does it, because they are they engineer storylines. They are catalysts to storylines moving on so that we don't stay on the same, same storyline like 24-7. So, you know, I like that she does that because that's a good asset to a Love Island contestant. Sammy and Jess don't care about them getting back together again. It's it, it's given bored. Like, I'm not into it. I don't really care about it, to be honest with you. So I don't care about their date or whatever was going on. Casa Amor's coming Sunday. Whitney, pick somebody else. I don't want to see you with Zach. And we'll see what you do when it comes to that. I don't think anybody else is being dumped now before Casa Amor. So Katie is free to do or pick whoever she wants to pick at this point. I feel like Zach will also pick somebody. There aren't any strong couples in the villa, to be honest with you. So I feel like a lot of them are going to be switching. A lot of them are going to be switching. We'll just see what Tyreek's doing with Scott on Sunday now because I'm um, on Friday now because I'm very perplexed. What is going on? Subscribe channel, guys. Click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Subscribe, 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 guys. Click that button and I'll catch you guys soon for another review.